once upon a time in August, I did a world building wormhole and I promised a, another one really soon. And that did not happen. <laughs> I figured out the answer for what I was searching, but I never filmed anything. So, hi, welcome back to another world building wormhole. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a writer and a reader. And for this one, I wanted to focus on how waste station can function. More of how are they getting their funding and how are they able to keep things running while it's going on. So if you didn't see my first video, Waste Station is a space station that takes in refugees. And this is going to be the location of my NaNoWriMo story this November. And so it goes back to, how does this function? I had to go back to what is the overall government structure of this universe. This universe is a federation. Uh, it's called the Ikari Federation. And it's a loose federation of many different worlds and stations and just convoys that are traveling the stars. And I say loose because the federation is not the overall governing agency. The federation is how the, all these different political entities come together and they agree upon certain working mores, uh, they agree on rules to work with one another. I think the best way I can kind of explain it is it's like the United Nations. The United Nations, they can all come together and they can create rules and hey, this is how people should be treated and live. But each country still has their own political government and sometimes follows what they've agreed in the international community and sometimes doesn't, which brings into some conflict. Now, the Ikari Federation had been in existence for a while as a way to collaborate and to work together as people were expanding and new cultures were being found, new species. And so they wanted to have a way to interact without coming to conflict. Well, worlds are still having conflicts on their on their own. There's conflicts between worlds, between species, and life just never is perfect. And so there would be refugees and just like in our world, sometimes as people are running away, countries don't want to take them in. As refugees are traveling the stars, not there were locations and places that didn't want to take the refugees in. And so Waste Station was created. The goal of Waste Station was to help bring the refugees in, make sure that their dietary needs are being met, because many people, if you're a refugee, you're running away or you're leaving a bad situation your health might not be in the best position possible. I mean, refugees have to leave a lot behind so you don't have all of your things and you're trying to set up a house in a completely new area. Our way station was set up to be the intermediary place. Not exactly a refugee camp, but a place to help refugees connect to where they can settle permanently. And I realize that this is very idealistic since I have never been in a refugee position. I would value feedback on this, especially how are things going to break, you know, how things could break down in the way I'm envisioning the system to work. So for funding, many people in the Akari Federation saw this problem happening and they brought it up at their meetings and people are going, talking back and forth, well, we don't want to take them and other countries are and planets are like, well, we have all of them coming to us. We need something better, a better way to handle this. And some places were 
what are you talking about refugees? If they're dissenters, we just kill them. There, there needed to be a working order. And so it, the law was established that if somebody declared themselves to be a refugee, they would get the help needed to get to way station. Every member of the Federation pays 2% of their income for, so if you're a planet, it's 2% of whatever the planet makes to the Ikari Federation, and a portion of that goes to help waste station function. The Ikari Federation does other things as well, so not they don't get that full funding, but they decided that a 2% funding would be fair for everybody to participate in the Federation because that is based off of what that group can provide. So if it's not the same, so if you make more money, your 2% is going to be more. And they left it up to the entities to decide how that 2% would be collected. So again, still not a perfect system. No government or political body is ever going to be enough for everyone and do what everyone wants it to do. That's why we have conflict. That's why we have to compromise. So way station was built and like I said, its prime focus is to bring refugees in, to care for them and help them find a place where they can then settle permanently without conflict, without further debt or issues. They are the intermediary working for that purpose. So there are certain positions on Way Station, like the main character I have B, she is the director over refugee operations. Those positions are hired or paid for through the Federation, but then there are other jobs on station that the refugees that are coming through, they help do. You know, everybody has their own expertise. And so while you're on Waste Station, you pitch in to help Waste Station run. Waste Station has its own farming system. So there's food being produced on Waste Station. There are still foods and water and other products that are being brought on board to help supplement. But Waste Station really does try to be as self-sufficient as possible. Part of what Waste Station also does for refugees is training, education. They basically sit down with the refugees and find out what are their goals? What do they need? And that could be individual within the group of the refugees. A group might decide that they want to practice their religion without persecution, but different members inside that community, one might want to be a doctor, one might want to be a teacher, they want to learn different skills. Waystation's helping them learn those skills so that when they, again, set up a permanent home, they're not going to be floundering. I know for different services that happen on Waystation, they will have secured grants from different organizations in order to keep those things moving. The funding of Waystation, I find pretty complicated. But that's because I'm also not a money person. Um, for someone who likes politics and government, or probably has played Sims way, or the city management stuff way more than I, this would make more sense for you. <laughs> but I have not done any of, like, this is not a strong point. And so for me, I just need a basic understanding of what's going on as it will pertain to my characters. Again, feel free to poke holes in my idealistic vision. I'm okay with this. And leave your comments down below. Thank you and have a great day.